Well, hi everybody. Welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you all for tuning in today. Today we're talking about the film industry and how you can become an actor if you don't live in the U.S. at all. So, this is one of the biggest questions that I have been getting a lot lately. Almost every day, actually, I've been getting this question. where People are asking me and saying, look, I want to be an actor, but I don't live in the U.S. How can I become an actor? What can I do? Um, and I wanted to ask, answer your guys' questions and also clear some things up a little bit. Because I think there's this big misconception with most people, not everybody, but with most people, that the U.S. is the only place to become an actor. And that just simply is not the case. Um, there's actors all over the world. It's not just in the U.S. Um, and also for, you know, the same for theater. You don't have to be in the U.S. to do theater work. You can do it in many different places. Um, but we're specifically talking about film today. But for film work, the U.S. is not the only place. There's many other places in the world. So that is the first thing you have to understand. The U.S. is not the only place you can become a successful working actor. You can become a great actor. You know, China right now, China is the number two film industry in the world. The U.S., it's number one. The U.S., it's the best film industry in the world. But China, number two. Um, there's other places that are in the top ten. Australia is in the top ten. France, Germany, um, uh, South Korea, Japan, all in the top ten. Um, I'm also going to be leaving um, a reference to you guys to help you out a little bit. In the description below, you guys can find the top ten film industries in the entire world. Um, it's going to have the top ten that's going to be listed there. And then below the top ten, you're going to find other film industries. They're not in the top ten. If you're looking and you're seeing and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't see my film industry under the top ten. They're not like in the top 15 or top 20. Um, don't freak out. It doesn't give you every film industry in the world, but it does tell you, hey, there's other film industries out there. It's giving you guys notice um, so you don't think, oh my gosh, the U.S. is the only place to become an actor. Because I think one of the places you'll find that isn't on that list is Vietnam, I believe. And Vietnam is a place where you can also become an actor. I know an actor right now who's very, very, very successful, and they're acting in Vietnam, doing very well for themselves. He's not known everywhere in the world, but very known in Vietnam booking all the time, working all the time. Now, also remember this, if you do happen to book something in the U.S., it doesn't mean you're going to be well-known. Some people want to move to the U.S. because they're like, I want to be famous, and the U.S. is the place that I can be the most famous. Something else you have to realize is this. The U.S. has the most competition out of almost any other place in the world. So you have to realize, hey, if you come to the U.S., there's going to be a lot of competition here, more than you might find in France and Germany or, say, in Canada. But now, for example, if you move to the U.S. and say you do book something, it doesn't mean you're going to be known throughout the whole world. I think this is another misconception that sometimes people have. I know an actor right now who is working all the time, making a great living. He is working. He's doing what he likes. He loves acting. But he's not super well-known. It's not like everybody in the world knows him. Not like Tim Allen. You know, Tim Allen, everybody knows Tim Allen. You know, when I go and I met Tim Allen and I was talking with him and I tell people about it, everyone knows who Tim Allen is. But if I mention this other guy... Nobody knows who he is, but he's still working. He's still doing very well. He's still acting. That's what he likes to do. Um, so that's just the important thing to realize. If you come to the U.S., it doesn't guarantee you're going to be known around the world and super famous, and it's a lot harder in the U.S., but you also have to realize the U.S. is not the only place to become an actor. Sometimes you might want to consider this. You might want to consider, hey, instead of considering moving out to the U.S., let's say, for example, you're in Turkey. By the way, Turkey has their own film industry, but say you want to move out to the U.S., we don't have to move out to the U.S. You could always move out, say, to Canada. It's a little bit less competition. You're still kind of close to the U.S., still great projects shooting in Canada, but you don't have to move all the way to the U.S. where there's a lot more competition. If you're going to move, you can maybe move to Canada. But if you decide, you're like, no, the U.S. is where I have to go. I have to do it. You can do it, but there might be other decisions that might be a little bit more beneficial for you. It's also the same with people who are here in the U.S. People who are actors here in the U.S., you don't have to stay actors here. You can always try and move somewhere else where the competition is less, so then you can maybe build up your credits more, get more substantial roles, because then it's easier. You know, if you're in um, Germany, for example, and you've done many great roles in Germany, right? You're a big actor in Germany, you're doing very well for yourself, and then you move out to the U.S. and you want to get an agent, it's a lot easier to get a top 10 agency if you've done very well somewhere else, and now you're trying to come here, because you already have a little bit of a base behind you, you've been working, there's a lot of different factors that get involved for that. So you have options. That's the first thing you got to realize. The U.S., again, is not the only place in the world to become an actor. Yes, you get the most accolation if you happen to be in the right project, but again, not the only place. 
China, number two place for the film industry, number two. And a lot of people don't know that. They think, okay, it's just the U.S., only the U.S. Not the case at all. Again, that top 10 list will be um, down in the description below along with some other ones that will be when you click on that link. When you see the top 10, below the top 10, there's going to show other listings for you. Now, and I'm going to be getting this question as well. Some people are going to say, wait a minute. I don't have any film industries in my area at all. My country, there's no film industry whatsoever. And that is a possibility. You know, I do suggest you guys go in and searching up your own country and then searching the film industry afterwards. So say, for example, um, you're looking, you're like Denmark film industry. So then you can find, hey, does Denmark have a film industry? Which I do believe they do have a film industry. Not a huge film industry, but they have one. You do the work, you look, you do your research. Now let's say, for example, you find you're like, no, it's not here. There is no film industry whatsoever. Realize this as a fact, okay? You've done all your research, you know, okay, where I'm at right now, there is no film industry whatsoever wherever you are. And you're like, okay, what can I do? Well, the first thing you realize is right now you can't act in a project, let's say, because you don't have that option. You can do self-submissions. You can do nationwide self-submissions. And maybe an, uh, a casting director sees you and they really, really, really like you. And then they maybe they Skype you and then they say, hey, you know, we'll fly you out here to do um, a scene with some of our actors. It is possible. Again, it's very hard to rely on just that, but you could if you wanted to. But something else that you could do, and what I might suggest, is saying, okay, maybe you know you want to go somewhere where there's a good film industry. You've decided that. Maybe it's not in your own country. Maybe you will have to move. Does that mean you have to move tomorrow in this year? No, it doesn't. Maybe you have to move in five, ten years when you're financially stable enough to do that, to go somewhere else. You know, um, there's this saying that goes and says, you know, we're all dealt a different hand. Everyone in life, we're dealt a different hand. Um, now with this hand, and you can think about it like cards, if you're playing a card game, with this hand, everyone gets a different hand. But the hand that you have now is not the same hand you're going to have in three, four, five years, depending how you play the game. In your life, right, you get to decide, you get to move for where you want to go. You know, okay, you have a five, ten year plan. Five, ten years, you're going to make your way in order to go to somewhere where there's a film industry. Maybe it is the U.S. Maybe that's where you want to go. Maybe you're like, no, I don't need to. Maybe I'm going to go to the U.K. Maybe I'm going to go to Germany. Maybe I'm going to go to France. You can pick that. You can decide. But you're deciding. You're, you're making these decisions. But in the meantime, you also have to know your skills. That's something you can work on. Right now, okay, you can audition. There's no film industry maybe where you're at. Then you work on your skills. You work on your acting ability, you work on your memorization skills. You know, depending on where you want to go for the film industry, you may have to learn another language. So for example, if you want to come to the US, you're probably going to want to speak English. It's going to be hard to book something if you don't speak English. Now, if you speak German, it'd be easier, say, to go and audition and act in Germany because you can speak German. So whatever film industry you might plan to go to, make sure you can also speak that language. Now, these are all really important things to consider and to think about. Remember, the US, not the only film industry in the world, a lot more competition here. If you do decide to come out to the US, you will have to be able to speak English. There's no really way around that. You might find, you might find some projects where you won't don't have to speak English, but you're going to have more projects than not where you will have to speak English. You have to speak the main language of the industry that you're going into. So if you're going into the American film industry here, you're going to have to be able to speak English. Um, you know, if you're going to China, speak some Chinese. Um, so you, that's just something that you really have to realize, consider, um, and put into facts. So I hope this makes sense for all of you guys. Remember, I'm going to be leaving the link for those 10 film industries down in the description below so you guys can take a look at that, get all the information that you guys need. Um, also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. Also, I will be leaving the 10-hour acting masterclass down in the description below, also in the comment section. It takes two minutes to sign up if you're interested in that. And I'll also be leaving the 10 acting resume templates there as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye, guys.